saying, what he just said is, is that the devil works together, but the body don't. <laughs> See, they warn each other, they say, watch out, the feds is over there. Mm -mm, they ain't catching it. But the church can't come together and say, that devil almost tore my church up. That devil almost tore my house up. We don't do that. We'd rather see somebody else suffer from the same thing that we actually can help somebody else with. Uh -uh, why y'all quiet? If I had to go through it, they got to go through it. The devil is a liar. If you know that your brother or sister is in the midst of something that is a trap, the least you could do is open up your mouth. Even in the streets, they got cold. Y'all don't want to talk to me. When them boys come on the corner, they at least make a sound. When I was in the hood, they used to say, ooh. They let you know that them boys was coming up on the corner. But now you're in the house of God, and devils is all around us. We can't even make a call to each other. They let somebody know that a devil is amongst us. Why are y'all sitting down now? Why, if you can actually see the devil, you won't even point the devil out. each other. That's, that's the call. We warned, we watched out. But now we're in the body of Christ, Sister Falk, and there's so much fighting over territory. You got even yourself, baby, being Marines, sometimes you probably want to be right back where you was. At least I had better covering. Lord, I don't want you all want to talk to me. One in a such thing as if we were going into battle, they would say, cover me, I'm going in. What that means? That means, watch this. That means one man like Call of Duty up in here. Y'all don't want to play with me now. And he would say, I got to reposition myself. Come here. See, this is where y'all get in trouble. We all taking fire, but we all together. But one would say, cover me. I'm going in. He, he would say, now what has to happen is y'all going to have to draw fire to you while I get to the next position. Uh -uh. But the problem with the body is if they clams in a bucket. So when you say, I'm going, then they all grab a hold to each other and say, we're going to. Now all of you done died from the same dumb demon. Now all of you laying down on the ground, defeated by the same depression, by the same spirit. I need to preach. You down on the ground, everybody. But King said, why sit we here and die? Somebody got to get up and get it. You are to one, one person and say, I'm going and get it. I'm going to get it. I'll be back, but we're not going to be in the same Watch this. And I didn't like that plow, no way. Because that's 
everybody else's look like this and mine look different. So because I don't fit in, Lord Jesus, I'd rather take the plow of another man that don't even belong to me. That's why people ain't being delivered in church. You know why? Because people operating with different plows. Yeah, Lord Jesus. Right. <laughs> Jumping from church to church right. with the wrong try. Come on. Why y'all Jesus. Now you got this and you think you're working. But you don't have no effect. Ain't nobody paying you no attention. Now you're bitter and mad because it ain't working. Because what he called you to, you left it there. Now y'all know the church. You know the church. Don't let that get. No work. Oh, you know the church. Pastor Williams. You know the What you doing? Why don't you just let you know right now, you ain't gonna like it. Pastor, if she don't like what you do, she will rebuke your pulpit. You know you really called to be a prophet. Then they'll get intense with you sometimes. Because you got some church folk And can I say something? The streets is coming to the church. So all this spiritual pushing, y'all might want to chill with it. You might want to cut that out. You and the spirit pushing folk out of the way. Somebody in the street gonna mess around and push you on your carcass. The streets is real. You talking about a boy from the why y'all sit up here mad with me now? Y'all faces twisted up. You know how we get territorial over something that we didn't even want to do. And then when somebody else get a hold of it, we got a child talking about, that's my toy. Now you want it back. The Bible said go back and do your first work. So you might have to go to one of them little childlike strollers. Oh my. What happened to just standing before the church and say I messed up? Amen. Don't I do that? They just sneak right back in like nothing ever happened. And then they're going to assume their seat, push you right out of the seat. That's an old school church. Stand up and say, hold on, I got something to say. I brought a reproach on the church. It's quiet. Oh, shit. I brought a reproach on ministry and not just ministry, but I made Christianity by itself look bad. Why? Why y'all not talking to me now? Huh? Why are you looking at me cockeyed now? Huh? I said, what happened to just manning up and warming up and saying, huh? I was responsible huh, for leaving this thing like this. My Jesus. It's sitting there. Just sitting there. You know why? Because most of the time now people are working. Okay, you my spirit. You ready for this? Work with me for a while. No, you my heart. Work with me for a while. Hey, distraction. Come here. Talk to my heart. Y'all can stay up out there by his church. You ever wonder why you've been in church and one minute they let the Lord use them and the next minute they act like they don't want to do it? Because their heart is in another place. Their body is here, but their heart is somewhere else. You see, and every now and again their heart will come back to them when they find out that what it was that was snatched at and pulled at actually wasn't legitimate and you'll get the real deal from them. Y'all not going to talk to me now, but if you get that devil up out your ear, I say get him out your spirit. He is polluting your spirit and now he got your heart all the way across the other side of Seaford, all the way across in somebody else's church because you in there telling them church business that you should have never even talked about. Your family won't even come to church because you're talking about the demon and everything else but the establishment and now you wonder why we're not effective as a church. Well, Cleaning the church with the plow. 
why in God said it's all because of this. It's all because of this. I need you. Come here, heart. Come here, distraction. Come here, sir. Yeah, he said, don't do me. Come on, just because you said don't do me. Stand right down here. Come here, elder uh, drummer. Take that, take some eye plow back and put it back in place. <laughs> take <laughs> Brother, that, 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 that plow, they left that plow. That plow been stuck there. We've been wondering why the world parking lot ain't clean no more. Oh, hey, don't y'all know every time you leave your plow, that thing is left open. Oh, it's quiet in here. Why do it excite you when the church is packed? Oh, Lord. Hey, we'll talk about it next week. tell you when you ain't supposed to be in places. When you go certain places and you can't get in with your gift. It feels strange in here. Why it feels strange? Because you and your plow don't belong there. So now here it is. You're trying to turn your plow into something that can fit into what it don't fit into. We're going to work this chair tonight. Let me see something. Let me see. Hey, sir, come here for a second. Yes, sir. Come get this plow. This your plow right here. Here you go. Now this gonna mess you up. Put that plow underneath that sheet. He used the foolish things to confound wise. Amen. Get on your knees with your plow. Can you do that? You got bad knees. You good? Young man. You young man. You young. You look younger than me. Now I want y'all to do something. I want you to get each end of this, like right here. There you go. At the end. I want you to pull it straight. Pull it real straight. And don't, don't, don't drown him. <laughs> I want the sheet flat. That's what I'm trying. Uh, yeah, I want the sheet. There you go. Keep it flat. Keep it flat. You got it flat for me? Make your end flat. Okay. Can I read, Mama, can you read Psalms 91? And I'm leaving off of this one right here. This, this one right here. This is, this is, you want, you want the, you want the mic, don't you? Yeah, go ahead and read it for one. Looking beautiful today. <laughs> Psalms 91. 91. He that dwelleth in the secret place right. of the yeah. Most High shall abide under the shadow of the <laughs> Wait a minute. Now, I want to show you something. <clears throat> Come from underneath there. Lead a plow. Go over there. You there? Depression just hit you. Couldn't cover it, could you? You couldn't, it, 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 it looked like it was coming. Hit you right in your face. Your money jacked up. Job messed up. Can you do me a favor though? Go back in your secret.
that he's been asking God for. He don't have. But dangers unseen can't touch him. See, I hit it and just roll. Oh, y'all didn't catch that. It just rolled right up. It's all out there. And it's hitting you like crazy. Now we jealous because of people with prayer lives. Don't have a whole sire. Read that she come on to Ramasia. But he got a body. Lord, I feel it did not say he that visit, it said he that abide. To abide is to literally move into his very presence. Y'all only go there when you need something. And then half of you go there and don't even carry your plow with you. Because your plow is somewhere you don't even remember where you left it. Your flesh and your attitude. But this man is covered. Yes. Amen. I don't care what the devil do. Nope. 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 I don't care what the devil do. He's raining. He's raining all types of stuff. Raining. Covered. Oh, he said, well, one got in, but that's not true. All this. Now I want y'all to do something. You ever seen women when they fluff a sheep? Every now and again, God will let you know that he protected you. Go ahead and fluff that sheep. Every now and again, he'll let you know that I got you covered. So you'll begin to see some things that should have killed you. You'll begin to see some things that should have took you out. You'll begin to show you some things in your secret place that it was I who covered you. It was not the doctor that healed your body. It was not the church that you're shouting. But it was my covering. It was me that kept you. stumbling block and hindrance concerning what's in you. It's coming out of you. No man will be able to teach you see, what the Holy Ghost is going to impart in you. But I speak of your breaking anointing for everything you touch, for everything you encounter. Yeah, I'm 
Lord for my two sons. I want you to praise the Lord for my two sons. I want you to praise the Lord for my two sons. Loose the worship. Loose salvation. Loose deliverance. Oh, I believe the word of God. Y'all playing in here. Bless my two sons. Bless my two sons.